Hey, this is Judge and Waits bringing you my first impressions of Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox One. I've got some core TDM matches for you guys to check out. I've tried to include some little bit longer clips so that you can get a really good idea of what this game is looking like. And I tell you what, I am really liking the way it looks. It's very crisp. It's very light. I like the lighting scheme that they have. It's really sharp, running very smooth. You know, I hope that it's coming through and you can get a good feel for it through YouTube. I don't know what you know rendering these clips and uploading them are gonna do to this but hopefully you can see just how great this game is looking. Oh and let me add this too I have added no color corrections or anything so this is what you're gonna see if you're playing it on the Xbox One. Now I've had a couple chances to play. I played the first day with Jesus Freak and Creamy. I tell you what you do not want to play with these two guys because they steal literally all the kills. I think my highest game I had was 13 kills in a match. It was horrible but managed to play four or five games with them and then I also got on by myself and tried it out too because I wanted to see what the difference is with the connections because when I was playing with them you know Freak was running the room so we were playing you know mostly probably people out west and I wanted to see how that compared to when I played people you know more around where I live geographically because he lives out west Creamy lives out west and I'm of course on the eastern side of the US in Ohio so um, when I played with them the game ran really well I didn't notice lag that much there was one game where I felt like I was a tiny bit behind but overall you know this was really solid connection wise and then when I played by myself I had an even better connection and I was really liking the way the game was feeling. So first impression, connection wise, I'd have to give that two thumbs up. Now keep in mind though, like I said, I only managed to play roughly 10 games. So that could change as I get some more experience on this. I was really wondering what it would play like, you know, especially early on when not a lot of people had it, but pretty solid to start off with. Now if you do decide to go ahead and pick up the Xbox One and play Call of Duty Ghosts or probably any other game, just remember, give yourself some time to download everything. There's going to be the updates. You're going to have to install the game and everything like that. But I'll say this. Everything transferred over seamlessly. There were no issues or anything like that. The only thing I noticed was my camo that I had unlocked as a result of buying the Hardened Edition did not transfer over. So I'm hoping that my DLC will transfer over once I get that. But we'll see. And I'm sure you know they're going to do that and make sure everything is good to go. Now the only real negative thing I have to say has to do with the headsets. As you guys already know, no gaming headset is fully compatible with the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 for that matter. In fact, no gaming headset is going to be fully compatible until 2014 until they release some adapters. So that is kind of frustrating on my end. You will be able to get game sound from your headset, but you will not be able to speak through it unless you do some kind of wire splicing thing or or something like that but I'm not ready to do that at this time so you're either gonna have to use your connect mic which I really wouldn't recommend because it hears everything that's going on in the room or you can actually just put the headset mic that actually comes with the Xbox one around your neck and just kind of talk through that I literally put that over my ears and then put my headset over top of that and it was working but it wasn't very comfortable but that is my review let me know if you guys have any questions let me know what you guys are seeing or experiencing with the Xbox One. I don't want to turn this into an Xbox One versus PlayStation 4 or anything like that because to be honest with you, I almost went with the PlayStation 4 and I think I would have been very happy. So, you know, don't get caught up in this console war. The big winner of the console war is you and I because these companies are actually competing for us and they're changing their policies to make us happy. So enjoy it. But let me know what you think about this. Let me know too if you can notice a different graphic wise through YouTube. I'm just really curious if you you can see that. But as always, guys, take care and God bless.